Hi everybody, it's Wanda. So I just did two cloud pour attempts and I have still have paint left over. Still have cloud paint because I mixed a lot of that. I didn't realize I wasn't gonna need that much. So instead of putting down a white base coat, I have watered down what I had left and added some more of my phalo blue to that. And I'm going to put a puddle of that down and then I'm going to let it kind of stretch out a little bit. And I'm going to do a pour with just the prism violet and the white. That's the cloud white. So I just wanted to put this down because looks like I had a little white on my stir stick or drip some in there. So I'm gonna try that. I don't have a lot of this prism violet, so I don't know how far we're gonna get with that. But I'm going to put a tiny amount of this. Now I have, why am I getting blue? Oh, it's because of the edge of the cup. Um, I have thinned all these paints just to see what would happen. That seems to be running better, both of them. I'm just gonna go until I don't have any more of that. Hope you all don't get frustrated with me using up the last of the paints or doing, you know, three paintings in a row that have basically the same colors, but I'm just curious and I hate to throw away paint and I hate to have it sitting over there because sometimes I don't get back to painting for days. So I just really hate to have it sitting in the basement with cups over the top of it to keep the air out of it. So that's how I usually do it. As long as I have a little bit of color showing up against that white, I'm going to keep going. Uh-oh. I blopped because it ran out of paint. So. Let's see if we can piece it like that. So again, I'm going to do like Sherry said, torch it, torch it, torch it. I wonder if just stirring the holy living stuffings out of this white paint, just really stirring it up and introducing bubbles into it, if, if it would help the whole cloud effect thing. Just makes me curious. I have not done a round canvas in forever. So I decided to pick one up at Hobby Lobby the other day. Unfortunately, I think my cloud paint is sitting on top of the blue. So I have no idea how that'll work. Could be a big fat disaster.
kind of fun to watch it <laughs> go around and around. I just want to keep pushing it off the edge. Get that blue to the outside edge more and more. I have to speed this video up for you because this might be a process that takes a while. Uh-oh, there we go. Oh, having trouble hanging on to it. Should have put my cup hooks under this instead of the push pins. Would have kept it up off of the surface better and helped me to hold on to it. Get that over that edge and get it covered. I don't want those cells to go swirling sideways, so I'm gonna bring it back this way. Ooh, that navy, that phthalo blue looks really cool. <laughs> Up in here, which I didn't think it would, but it seems to be. Looking pretty cool. Okay. Tilt this back and see what I have. I still don't have clouds in the middle. Hmm. I really don't want to dump this edge off right here because I like it. But that's too much paint to leave on the canvas. There's some of the parts of this that I really love. Some of it I really, really love. Now that I'm having a chance to actually look at it. 
like this area right in here. Beautiful. Hmm. I'm contemplating what I need to do next and working on my sides. Okay. Hmm. I really love this. I don't know why, I just do. I don't know why. Just do. All right, I'm gonna take the camera down, give you all a close up. Um, it's going weird shaped on me now, like a triangle. I have a big blob right there I'm not in love with, but I really like this and I like how the blue filtered kind of back in, stretched back in. So, don't know about this one. Roll off there. All right. I'm finished playing, I think. So, I will give you a close-up. Thank you for watching. Thanks for hanging in there with me. This went really pink. Might give this one to the granddaughter, great-granddaughter, for her bedroom. But I do like the blue. wonder how this is going to dry. Thank you. Thank you so much. Okay, I wanted you all to see up close what I was seeing. I absolutely love this. And I dropped some of that off. And maybe should drop a little bit more, but... Um, so it pulled in up here. Blended a little bit. Blended up in there a little bit. I just like the way that blue pulled back in and showed up some. So, the center... Not so exciting, doesn't have much going on. So maybe thinning that uh, cloud wasn't such a good idea. Or maybe it's just I didn't have enough of the other color for it to mix with for it to react. And I think that's probably what it is. Because I had so little of that left to put in. Or I started out with so little and it just blended. The white sinks on me, so it all wants to go to the bottom. So maybe I should pour faster, I don't know. So thank you for watching. That's what I ended up with.